Hello friends, so in this video we are going to do another sorting algorithm and that sorting algorithm is bubble sort. It's a simple sorting algorithm that work repeatedly swapping the adjacent element if they are in the wrong order. Okay, and the data structure it uses is array and its worst case performance is big of n square. Best case is big of n if or the array is already sorted. In every case performance is also big of n square it's sometimes also uh, referred to as syncing algorithm so let's write a program on bubble sort now let's define our sorting function we take only an array as input <coughs> and is equals to length of array okay now a loop for i in range n <coughs> and is the length of the array now another loop j in range it will be from 0 to n minus i minus 1 <coughs> here we have n minus 1 and minus 1 minus 1 is there because in the next step uh, we will compare the value of the uh, array j and, and j, j plus 1 element so if we uh, run the loop n, time, n minus 1 time so in the j minus 1 there will be a condition when the array will at the last and the array j plus 1 there will be no element so it will return an error so that's why we have done minus 1 and the minus i is due to the fact that after each iteration and the biggest element will arrive at the end of the array so that's why we have done minus 1 so the array so sorted array will be the last part and the unsorted is the first part <coughs> as the algorithm proceeds the sorted part increases and the unsorted part decreases so now let's uh, write the next step in the next step we will compare the two adjacent element of the array and then swap them if you are in the wrong order so let's swap them array j array j plus one <coughs> array j plus one Oh, I haven't write j plus 1 here array g so these are my steps for this algorithm so now let's write the array like 34 21 21 24 23 98 75 so I think this is enough now let's print the array and then sort array and then again print the array so this on, these are only simple step <coughs> only 13 lines of code and we are finished now it's time to run the code Pro first provide proper permission to execute bubble sort then bubble sort so you can see first we have the unsorted array and then now we have the sorted array so you can see this algorithm works successfully we can also do one thing just if you want to check every step of the array uh, what are the steps uh, which are doing which are performing every step with the array so you can like print array here <coughs> and see what are the all the steps so you can see all the internal activities the array. So you can see we have so these are the internal steps you can just see them please now remove this so i think that's all for this video thank you now let me save this and